What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dragon's Dogma, where we are hot on the trail trying to find Kina. I don't know how successful we'll be, though. The world seems to be a threatening place, and it is not pulling any punches on us. We've been getting our ass kicked. We've been getting our ass kicked. No joke. Haven't died yet, but we've been going through a lot of our restoratives and a lot of those sorts of things, so, eh. We'll see how the rest of it plays out. We're still inside some little... Animal dung. Where? You stepped in it, didn't you? It's on your boot. Well, I'd like to finish this little foresty area while we're here. It seems like a waste not to do it. Got an alligator sunning on a rock over here, so I'm gonna go after him. There we go. The tail is severed. You can knock him up in the air. I learned that. I mean, you can knock him up on the ground, too. They're very fertile, but take that whatever way you want. Amaranth has hit level 11. I have also gotten a vocation rank, which is pretty cool. That should mean that we have some new abilities waiting for us. Once we start getting after our trainer... For right now, though, there's so much, like, there are so many enemies in this little forest over here. Every couple steps, I end up fighting, like, ten guys. And I just wanted to see what was deep inside the forest. I guess I learned bad things. It's kind of a generalization, but hey. Be careful. A thorn flower. What does a thorn flower do for me? Oh, you got a potent greenware-ish? If you jack this tro- <gasps> It's a chimera! No! Chimera! I think we're gonna have issues. So we gotta go after the snaky tail first. The snaky tail is by far the most risky part. Oh, he's already jacked us hard. Okay, well let's get people back up. The only person that cannot be rezzed is us. Our character, our NPC. Oh, they're asleep. Shit, that's not good. Let me get Lewis back up. Give them something to focus on. Did he just, like, eat that guy while he was laying on the ground? I'm gonna try and mess this tail up as best I can. Because I don't like that snake none. It's gotta go. We got another guy down. It's okay. Pay attention to your radar. That's the best way to see what you got going on. Get him back up. Get him back up. And since they get so much health back, just stay away. Oh, shit. We're out of energy. That's not good. They should come and get me, I think. I hope. I don't know. Ah! Okay. Well, that's my ass right there, so don't get knocked out is what I learned. Let's keep that health up a little higher. We can always get more restoratives. It's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna get her back up. At the cost of my own HP, apparently. Stay away from the front of him. Here, put him down. Put him down. Oh, and we've got one of them in there now. Okay. We've got extra problems. Let's get her back up. Oh, man. He is wrecking people. Slowly and surely. We might need to retreat. I don't know. Let's hang in for a little bit. Killing a Chimera right now would do a lot for our XP. But if it's not able to be accomplished, we don't want to dive into it too deeply. Where did that come from? Oh my god. We just got hit from so deep right there. I thought we had more than enough range on him. There goes the knockout gas. It got flint. I think you can run up next to him and be like, hey, wake up. But I'm not totally sure on that one. Man. Ain't a single opening for days against this damn thing. Yeah, we got to get rid of the tail. And if we can't get rid of the tail, that's going to be it for us. It's going to be curtains. Oh, that's not good.
That's pretty bad. Does this count as a mental or a physical? Either way. We should get some more health just in case, because he's about to pounce on somebody. And he chose me. Go figure. Can you guys, like, stab him in the eye or something? Like, just stop letting him chew on me? Shit. Alright, we need to disengage. Dude, let me get up. Come on. <laughs> Alright, we're leaving. We're out of here. We gotta go. We ain't gonna make it if we don't. So we'll just abandon the pawns behind us. And hope for the best. He may outrun us. It's possible, but if we stay around the trees, we should be good. We got a big-ass walk in front of us. I thought we could take a Chimera at this point in the game. That's really unfortunate. We got, like, no damage done at all. And we're all by ourselves, which means that we're going to be prey for all manner of tiny creature that thinks it wants to take a swipe at us. Looks like I forgot some loot over here. Oh, is that an apple? Yeah, take the apple. I think you can knock apples out of the trees, too, but... I'm not going to play with it too much. I'm going to go back to town. It's unfortunate that we got dominated like that. It doesn't make me happy. I hate losing, so unfortunately, just got to live with that. I'm going to walk back to town. It's a waste of your time, so I'm going to edit it on out. All right, so we're back at the encampment. Now I got to get myself all nice and patched up. That fight went very, very unfortunately. I wasn't planning on fighting a Chimera. I was hoping I could get further into the zone and just get some real solid leveling done, but it didn't play out that way. Let's res our main pawn. If you end up losing your pawns, you might not be able to get the ones that you already had back. That's okay, though, because I wasn't super impressed with their performance so far. So, it might be nice to jump in and get some new ones, basically. Let's see here. You there, madam. Ooh, she got a two-handed sword. Yeah, she can come with me. Here, you. You look badass. Therefore, I'm going to judge you based on appearances and not on performance, and you're coming with me. We also need... She's not a warrior, by the way. She's called, like, a something else. She got, like, a two-handed weapon. It's pretty badass. I wouldn't multi-class into it too soon, if I remember right. I don't know. I might be giving you bad advice. Alfonso! What does Alfonso do? You should always check what kind of mage he is first. You never know what abilities you're going to get out. He's got Ingle. He's got Halidum. Oh, really? That's pretty good. Okay. He's got Frazzle. Intervention. Does this one heal? Hallelujah? No, but he's got dispels, which are actually pretty good too. So he's able to get rid of like poison and other status defects on us. Let's see what this other wizard has first before we take him. So we've got Primrose over here. No, you are not who I was talking to. Thank you. That guy's got pointy shoes and it makes me jealous. I wish I had pointy shoes. My life would be way better. Ingle, Frazzle, Anodyne, and that's it. I'm a little low on restorative, so I might bring her with me for right now. She doesn't have the lightning spell, but Ingle and Frazzle should be pretty useful. That should be good enough for us. I'm going to dump off some equipment inside of here, and then after getting these guys all nice and situated... Yeah, so that'll be cool. As long as you can stay inside the healing area, you should get yourself nice and patched up. Save me some of those random things I've been using. Who are you? Arisen, I am honored to make your acquaintance. This pawn is known as Jonathan. I am a collector of items from other realms. All that I have, I am willing to offer you. I only ask a small payment of rift crystals in return. I attempt to seek out rarities, so please take a look. Surely you'll find something of use. Choose as you will, sir. There you go. This is what the rift crystals are used for. So they're not super cheap. It definitely looks like it's going to take us a little bit of... Huh. It looks like you can change your skin pigment around, too. You can transmute somebody's appearance for 5,000. We've got anal stilettos. It's annealed. I know it's annealed. God, don't correct me. It's fine. It's all good. I know. We can have glasses so we can be all Harry Pottered out if we really want to. Don't know if I'm into that, though. Ooh, those rings are pretty dankity-dank. Although they don't really... Hmm, I don't see a difference between them. They must do something, right? Huh. Ever at your 
There we are. Let's be out and on our way. I will see you when we get back to where we were, because we were looking for Kina. Actually, I'm going to rest for a bit, then we'll go. We are back in town. Oh, you guys. Did you guys pull? Oh, you were supposed to jump down. All right, they pulled bandits. We might have a big fight in front of us. I'm going to pick up some chaff stem, because I have nothing better to do. I think they pulled bandits. All right, if they pulled bandits, we got to go in here. So this needs to get solved, like, right this second. Come on. Let's go. You pick this fight, pal. I didn't want to fight you. That's just the way that it went. Damn, you better back off my boy over here. I realize my boy is female, but it's all good. Oh, you're getting stabbed so hard right now. All you wanted to do was have Panela hold you. I know. We heard your wishes, and we made them happen. Ooh, I just got shanked. That's not good. Let me go ahead and throw some health on real quick. I got a bunch more greenware at the store, so we should be all right. Amaranth is definitely down, so we should probably help her out a bit. If I can keep him out of the fight, it would save me a whole bunch of trouble. The archers are going to be a secondary issue, so I'll deal with them in just a minute. Like that, by spamming the hell out of... What the... This dude over here doing some John Woo Matrix shit all over the place. Good God. Front flips through the air and everything. Stop trying so hard. You're making the rest of us feel inept. All right. Healer's back up. And that's all you can ask for. Good. We were able to handle these bandits even in subsuitable environments. Vocation rank is up for Amaranth. That's fantastic. I actually haven't spent a whole lot of her points on upgrades. We got wolves over here, too. All right. It's the never-ending fight. Did you just try to bite me, Dogie? You need to figure out this food chain. You need to figure out this food chain real quick. Otherwise, I'm going to beat you with it. There we go. Another doggy down. Get him out of my way. I like to follow him with the camera. <laughs> I don't know. It makes it feel more awesome when I knock him up and follow him with the, follow him with the camera. It makes me happier. Did they pick up all the loot over here? I am inclined to think there's a lot more loot than what we currently have. Sour Scrag of Beast. Yeah, you guys pick that stuff up. Everybody stand inside the Healy Zone. Cool. Couple more over here. Should have come at me with that tall tower. See, you got me with Roly Polies. And you come at somebody with Roly Polies, you're gonna get kicked out of the. You're gonna get kicked out of the stadium. That's what we need. We need professional kickball. That's what life needs. I could get down with some professional kickball. It'd make me happy. Got a wolf pill. We got some scrags of beast right there. Not useful in and of itself. It'll give you a little bit of stamina back, I think. But we got to go to the Witchwood. We're looking for Kina, our dear childhood friend. I don't remember if the Witchwood is hard or not. I remember the Witchwood. It has, like, lots of spider webs and stuff. And is generally a disagreeable place. But I don't recall. Oh, I remember this vaguely. Yeah, I remember the fog rolls in or something like that, and then you get lost on the map, and you got to find your way out, and like a bunch of other random stuff. Got some sun bright over here. I don't know what it's useful for, but I'll take it. Can I climb up here? Got anything for me? You guys still fighting wolves over here? How many wolves can one forest have? I'm going to stab that one. There we go. Problem solved. Ooh, a rift fragment. Yes, please. I'll take that. It does seem like there's some useful items on there. All right, into the witch would we go. This may be poor planning on my part. I don't recall exactly what happens in here. Well, that was easy. We found her. There's still rabbits around, so that's a good sign. Rabbits tend to run away and make themselves scarce real quick. I need more rabbit pelts. I don't feel like I have enough. Oh, what are you doing? It, you came searching for me? Forgive me. I would never wish to worry you. But I had to come. A witch walks these woods. One who understands the language of the dragon. If I may find her, I will beg her aid in healing your wound. Will you accompany me? This fog bodes ill. I would walk easier with you at my side. Yep. And so that right there, 
Every time you do a quest, your pawn learns how to do the quest so that they can advise people on the internet on how to do their quests. Keep it or not, why is Kina wounded? Is that a boar right there? What you doing, piggy? Oh man, I'm bad at aiming. Sorry, piggy. Don't do this in real life. I'm not even messing with you right now. You cannot handle a boar. Not without a very large caliber weapon. Boars are terrifying animals. I'm more afraid of boars than I am of just about- Ooh, a verdant hood. We out in the verdant hood, gonna wear it good. You all don't understood. Kind of the- I think the syntax was off right there, but it's fine. Oh man, I can't use it? It's for wizards, huh? Oh no, it's for- it actually looks like Keen or Looks like Amaranth might be able to use it. Nope, she can't. Never mind. Well, then she can hold it. She can hold it. When's the next bathroom? I told you to hold it before we left the house. Or use it before we left the house. I guess if I told you to... These pigs go down pretty easy for boars. They drop back fat oil, and I think they drop some other stuff, though, that's pretty useful. And since the search... Isn't, oh, what is that over there? That doesn't look good. Since it's the first time we've encountered them... And not just after her, we see. The it, villagers are right to fear this place. It is a little terrifying. We'll be easier than I feel magic within this maze. Oh, when we destroy the stave, it. You hear that? That's not a good thing. That is most assuredly a bad thing. I'm trying to get a visual I'm trying to get visual on whatever's stomping around there they are I may get a lantern out in just a minute just because the light is not quite so sufficient as I would hope here let me take out the lantern. That'll brighten things a little bit. Wolf pelt over here. Some spoils of combat. Got a rusted greatsword. Might sell for a decent amount, but... Yeah, well... Sometimes you gotta slay a spider or two. How you gonna be a hero if you're afraid of taking risks? Those two things seem to go together, taking risks and being a hero. A ah, shit, he's got me. Hey, she saved me. In general, I don't bring great sword guys like Panela because they swing so slowly that a lot of the time... I didn't know she was talking. Game's a little chaotic like that. This guy's farting webs at me. I'm not hitting him swinging with my eyes open either. Amaranth got level 12. If you're wondering what the level scale is in this game, I know people who have like 180 level characters. Like, it's... You can get pretty high level in this game, so don't worry about the scale. It's not like we're going to hit level cap or anything like that anytime soon. You essentially just keep leveling regardless. A little bit cocky, aren't you? Sun bright right there. Since the witch last visited our village. In truth, I can't be certain she lives here still. Yet even if we find her vanish, we must keep faith. There must be options. <laughs> what happens if you get webbed? What's that? Bunch of spider venom in there. I'm gonna get this ore real fast while we're here. I missed a couple on the trail on the way up here. Eh, I don't really need the rock. The pretty stone will help, though. Eh, that was a pretty terrible node, all things considered. All things considered, a pretty mediocre node. It looks like maybe there's two different paths right here. One goes off this way. 
And then one goes off that way, possibly. Looks like we found another one of those totem things. Oh shit, that scared me so much. Did he just spawn right there? I didn't see him. I gotta get revenge for that. That was way too brazen. Can't have wolves messing with me on that level. He's probably gonna run for it. Got that one before it takes out my greatsword user. Bunch of spiders up here being opportunists. Get a little bit of health back right there. Running a healer is kind of an interesting thing. Like, healers can be really, really useful, or they can just stand around trying to cast the entire fight and being useless. It really sort of depends. To that extent, what you should occupy yourself with is the defense of your healers if you have one. A firefly stone. I don't know what that does. I don't think I've ever seen one before. Huh. Cool. And then where was that thing that was hanging in the tree? Did we kill it? Oh, I must have hit it on the way by or something. Okay. So it looks like we cleared it out. Our quest goal looks to be off that way. You can free roam quite a bit on some of these maps without getting yourself into too much trouble. Wouldn't know. Ain't never been here before. Girly. Uh, we got a, a treasure chest down there. So I'll probably try and snag whatever's in here. A restless earring. Okay, I'll look at that in just a minute. I'm trying to stay on task for right now. Got a little bit more ore on this side. Whatever those firefly stone things are, if we could get a lot more of those before we leave this place so that I don't have to come back the next time we need them. I don't really know what they do though either. I've never seen that object before. I know what copper ore and pretty stones and all that kind of stuff do. They are mostly just for upgrading items. If you're looking for ore nodes, you should do it just like you do when you play World of Warcraft or any MMO. Normally, just walking along the edges of the map tends to be enough to get at least a couple of nodes. However, if you're having trouble, I overran myself. My bad. Let's sit here and gasp for air for a minute. I'll come to your rescue as often as it takes. I can search this. A cedar branch. I think you use that for upgrading bows or something like that. Or maybe even crafting bows. A blue long kilt. So a skirt. Who's that for? Not for me. Looks like it's armor. Okay, so it's an outskirt. Gotcha. It's kind of like an armored skirt for mages. Not going to give it to these guys. I don't know if you can actually give items to pawns that belong to somebody else. I don't know if they'll give you your shit back at the end. Go off the ledge right there, and let's get back on the quest. I'll try to stay in areas that I haven't looked at yet, just so maybe we stumble across a treasure chest every now and again. But some of these zones are so large and so expansive and just like all over the place and kind of topsy-turvy that it can be really, really hard at times to find what you're looking for. I don't even know if you can get up there. It might be worth it if you could jump from a, from a higher... Yeah, I think that might just be a clipping plane. You might not be able to get up there. Oof, that hurt. Explosive barrel on that side. Quick with the healing spells. That's what I like about our healer. That's what I like about her. She's quick on it. She knew as I was falling, she's like, oh, we're going to need something to help out with that. It seems we've arrived. There. That must be it. Come on, cuz. Then this is the witch's cottage? Can I gather butterflies? Southron Oregano. The witch of these woods was one, but with the faith's arrival, she fled here for fear of being branded heretic. Hmm. Well, now we got something to sell the eighth graders, so that's pretty cool. It's a curious stone, is it not? I'll take that. Hmm. Yeah, I pick up all this because some of these things are things we haven't seen yet, and it may come down to it that later on we need a large supply of Southron Oregano. And we may not feel like walking all the way back out here to come get it. There's a circlet in there. Cool. That actually gives us a helmet. I think. Yeah, the circlet should be useful for everybody. It's a magical item, but it'll give us a little bit of resistance. And it'll make us look more regal. 
so that we can command pawns more willingly. They'll be like, oh, I wasn't going to do what you said, but you have that super awesome hat on, so I guess I'll go with it. Like, that's what I thought, pawn. Kind of an interesting configuration of stairs. Is there anything around this way? I bet there is. There's always something back this way. Yep, poison flask. Knew it. You can pick up buckets. They sell for like 150 gold. Depends how broke you are. I guess there's a bronze idol over here. I'm going to take that. I don't know what it does, but it's mine now. Begging your pardon, but we seek the witch of these woods. Oh? A great and aged woman? Perhaps you might have seen her? The witch? You seek grandmother? Your grandmother? Yes. Where might we find her? I would ask her aid in a dire matter. She is dead. She died, as all must. Oh. What of you, then? Know you aught of the dragon? Can you read the worm speak? Gran told me. Faith knows. It cloaks the dragon, cloaks the truth. Those who search for truth outside the faith are branded heretics. So, so your grandmother told you not of the dragon, that the faith might leave you be? Yes. Then it seems we must turn to the faith if we are to learn more. You have our thanks. We'll leave you in peace to return to our village. What to do in this quest. Don't you just love RPG quests? Why <laughs> we're just looting look at all my minions, they're just looting the shit out of her house. That's hilarious. <laughs> just run up in her house and take all of her stuff. Oh my god. This is the best game ever. I think we're out of time for the day with the edits I made. I didn't I didn't mark my progress properly, so it's possible. That we may be going a little early, but I don't think we are. So I will see you all in the next episode. Oh, those are poison, apparently. All right, just in case you wanted a poison flask, I guess. I will see you all in the next episode of Dragon's Dogma. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. don't know how long I'm going to let it run. I kind of just had open space, so I figured I'd play it for a little while because I've been wanting to anyways. So, welcome. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.